Hello there YouTube. This is going to be a project of turning a lamp, regular household lamp, into an LED lamp. This LED ray came out of a flashlight that looks like this, the end of it. it had a ring down in there. It had a hole on either side. I had to kind of use needle nose pliers, kind of like a spanner wrench or whatever they call them, to get it out of there. They have a little reflector on there, like this, which I'm not going to use because I want it to be more of a floodlight. This is the lid off a can, and I've got it hot glued in there. And here's how I hot glue I don't want to use my glue gun. I'll just take my little turbo lighter. You can use a candle. Try not to catch it on fire. But you see how that works. You can just dob the glue in there. I actually like it more than a glue gun. Because you can get a lot of glue at one time. So that's one way of using glue sticks if you don't have a glue gun. You can still go in the store and buy glue sticks. You don't need a glue gun. Have a lighter. It's like a turbo lighter like this. Or a candle. I like these because I can solder with these. I have solder that's just small. I can show you how easy it'll melt. That melts pretty easy. So, you want to solder wires. This came out of another project. You see the black and red wire. That's how I solder those. I just wrap the wire, wrap the solder around the wire, hit it with a little butane torch, and there you go. Okay, then I'll show next how I'm fitting it down in the head of the lamp. Okay, this is how it'll fit down in the lamp. I've sprayed that lid with silver aluminum paint, so it got all more blue. This is just a swing arm lamp. You'll see the whole thing at the end. They're pretty junky. I've had two of these. They get hot. You'll burn yourself trying to move it. The switch is always shucked out of them because the switch goes in the end down here. The switches always break. They're really not worth the money you pay for them. But this is going to be my LED conversion. What I'm going to use is, these flashlights use three, don't have the body of it no more. The flashlights just came out of, I should say the LEDs that came out of the flashlight. They use three triple A's. I'm going to use three double A's, which is still the same voltage, four and a half volts, but you'll have more reserve. I've never tried C or D batteries. I know when the bigger the battery you get, the more current you can get, the more amps. But I've never had trouble substituting three AA batteries. I have one lamp that I made that I took this out of, and I've used it for several years. It was a little cheapy plastic flexible gooseneck lamp. I want something a little better. Then I'll show a quick video clip of how bright it is in the dark. Because I'm filming this out here in the evening time. Okay, this is how bright this will be at night time. Pretty bright. And these aren't fully charged batteries I'm using. This way, power outage. Or say I want to come out to the workshop real quick. I don't have to turn the power on. That's pretty bright. Makes more of a flood. That's why I took the chrome piece off there. Okay, here's a quick look of where the bottom of this swing arm lamp goes in here. How it fits down in there. This is the bottom of your swing arm lamp. I'm sure people have seen these before. I have a view of the whole thing with them. This is what I'm going to do at the bottom. There's a nut in there. I took this apart. Do is this is plastic full of concrete. I'm going to cut this out so my battery pack will fit underneath. 
because I feel it'll be heavy enough. I hope it's heavy enough. I'm going to cut some of this way to make room for my battery pack underneath. Then, I found a real nice switch, which I'm going to also fit in here. Really nice rocker switch, instead of a toggle switch. That would be easier, you just push your finger down on it. So, the switch will be mounted down in here also. And I figured out I have enough room to put the switch in here and the battery pack. So that's how that'll go. And what I did is I ripped out the regular house lamp cord. It was hard to pull out. I'll get this in camera view. It was hard to pull that cord out of here, but I ripped it out or I took a pliers. A little plastic clips. It kind of catches there. But this is small wire off an, an old surround sound stereo, house stereo. It's real small. This is probably 18 gauge. 16, 18 gauge. It's not, it doesn't have one side marked. Some wire, speaker wire would be silver or just have a little stripe on the plastic. But I'll check that with my ohm meter. And then I'll just mark the ground side with a black sharpie. So it doesn't matter to me that the wire is not marked. I'll find out what's ground. If you hook your LEDs up backwards, they're just not going to light. So, so much for that. Okay. I hot glued this down in here. It's black because I used my candle. Heat up my glue stick. And you won't see it anyway. Try not to catch it on fire. That makes it worse. You gotta carry some. Just little dabs of glue. You'll never see this. Don't worry about these strings. Just let them dry. Your glue stick's going to string over. Just let it dry and they'll, they'll pull out. So, it doesn't look pretty in there, but no one's not going to see it.